Was the night before Halloween at the old Schizo house? People were decorating and designing a spooky haunted house. I just rhymed the same line using house after house. That's three times the same rhyme now. No more. Let the story begin with a mouse. That clicks on a house. You see these? These are scary. What we did? Not so much. I mean, no offense to you, and you guys. Steve, mm -hmm. Ray, and I'm sorry, I already, I already forgot. Oh, don't even worry about it. That was like 45 minutes ago. My name's Sam. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Sam. No, it's Sam. I'm sorry. It's Sam. T H A M. What's so hard to understand? What the? Hey, who stepped on my cord? Not me. Anyway, like I was saying, this really isn't looking scary. Uh, speak for yourself. My decorations are scary, I think. Regina, all you did all night was hang up pregnancy tests. Yeah, and they're all positive. I get scared just thinking about it. Why the hell are you blaming us for? Hanati's not even here helping us. Huh, that is true. I mean, I did tell him to pick up some candy and Cokes on his way, but it's not like him to be late. Were you here the whole- Whoa! I scare you all, yeah? No, you actually really didn't scare anyone. Ah! Oh my god, how did you judge? Hey, bro, fools. Got me. <sighs> Great, you got diet. Yeah, Coke, same thing. Nope, it really it really isn't the same thing, but that's okay. I'll get the ice. Come on, guy, diet is not that bad. There's some kind of, there's a note in here. What's it say? We started off as a nice day, we'll start anew with an... With a what? That's all it says. There's just like two blanks. Oh, maybe we fill in and win prize. Yeah, it's probably one of those contests where you can win. Hey, why do you have a rock? Oh, I am so rude. This is my friend Rocky. Hi, Rocky. What about Rocky? This is kind of weird, but hey. He's cute. Where'd you find him? I was kicking him the whole way home from park, and then I realized that he is good at rock. How was that good luck? No, he could rock to kick. I'm surprised he's even friends with you if you were kicking him. So let me get this straight. You showed up 45 minutes late. You brought Diet Coke instead of regular Coke, and instead of bringing a friend to help, you brought a freaking rock? Hey, he may be a rock, but he has feedings. Yeah, rude. What are you guys talking about? It's a rock. He brought a rock. Just you think Who brought a rock? rock? I don't know. Is it all like that? Hey, there wasn't much ice left, but... I was scared. Freaking storm. When you guys grab the lanterns in there, there's, there's they over here. A bunch of them yeah, right in there. Uh, see, there we go. Here, pass it down. Is everybody okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that sound? Where is that coming from? Ah! Oh my God! <clears throat> what the? He's dead. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'll call 911. Did anybody see what happened? Maybe he just tripped and the lights went out. I said we get the hell out of here. No, it's raining outside. You know how long it took me to get my hair looking like it's on a fleek? I can't get a signal. It's probably because of the storm. Well, I mean, even if we do get a signal, what are we gonna say? That somebody got murdered when the lights went out and nobody happened to see? They're gonna blame one of us. Look, I don't mean to be that guy, but maybe, maybe it was one of us. You know, this is the first time I'm hearing you speak, Steve. You have a nice voice. Um, thank you? Don't mention it. Or you can, I don't know. Ugh. Guys, this is serious. We're talking about murder here, okay? I don't even know how that's possible. How do you die from an ice tray? Wait, we say that again, Regina. That again, Regina. No, say what you just said. I don't even know how that's possible. The other part. We're talking about murder here. No, that's what I said. How do you die from an ice tray? Ice tray. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense now. Uh, what? The note from earlier. We'll start it off as a nice day. We'll start anew with an ice tray. <sighs> Are you a rapper? It means somebody planned this. <sighs> Wait, there's a second note. It's blank. Oh, I think it's the wrong... Oh. Well, what does it say? I'm trying to read it. If you would stop interrupting me, I'd be done by now. There's too many big words, I don't know. Oh my god. Where darkness hide and the sun shan't go. 
Just reach inside, look in a, and that's all. A darkness hide. Something that you can look inside of? Ugh, that can be anything. Well, I mean, if it's anything like the other note, we know that it has to rhyme, right? Yeah, that doesn't narrow it down much. There's so many words that rhyme with go. I would know, I'm a rapper. There's flow and flow. Boat. Look, whatever it is, maybe if we figure out before the killer strikes again, we can stop it. What? How? No, wait, Sam is right. If we figured out this note before the blackout, we could have stopped Ray from getting the ice tray. You're rapping again. Are you trying to mock me, dog? <sighs> Guys, we have to find this next clue. But how if we don't even know what we're looking for? But we do, kinda. We just have to look for something that you can look inside of that's in the darkness and rhymes with go. Oh, what about like bowl? Bowl, like, I, I said it first. Yeah, things like that. Got it, I'm on board, I'm ready to go, let's go. This is crazy. I'm with Steve, what a crazy idea. I don't like it, it's stupid. Look, if that's the only clue we're going off of, we'd have to search this entire house. Which is why, and I, again, I know this is gonna sound like something straight out of a horror movie, but I think we should split up into pairs. Hell what? no, no. Are you what? kidding me? That sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. He's right, that sounds like a bad idea. I mean, do you have a better idea? Do, do any of you? What if instead, we all play the Wii? The Wii? Hi. Like Wii as in the gaming console? Yeah, it has enough controller for everybody. Yeah, that sounds way more fun. How is that gonna help us find the next clue, Anate? Huh? How? I don't know. Am I the only one taking this serious? Someone is dead, okay? Oh my god, who? I give up. I quit. Look guys, as much as I don't want to split up, Ryan's the right, we'll cover more ground that way. Thank you. Can we please just pair up now? Fine, I'll go with our ditho. Great, I'll go with Hanate. And Rocky too. And his rock. Which I guess just leaves Steve, you can pair up with Regina. Well, I'll check different rooms. If you guys find anything, just shout out and we'll all come to you. Sounds good. Cool. Let's see, there's... Where does it go? Stone? Meanwhile, small stole skull skull. Hey, what about skull? Nope, still not a real word. Damn it. Well, well, how about neither is skulls? Damn. Well, I checked all the bowls. I guess it has to be something else. What could it be? I got it this time. It's a real word. Rhymes with go. Pull. Well, I guess that's. A little better, cause it's like the Kung Fu Panda, but that's still not a real word. Yeah, it is. What about like, Sim Po? That's only part of a word. The Po Po. The real word is police. Po Kahanless. That's not even the right name. Okay, I got you, I got you. What about the Po Box? What? The Po Box. You know, like some people don't get their mail at their house, they have to go to the Po Box to get their mail. You mean Peel Box? Yeah, the Po Box, that's what I just said. You ain't gotta spell it out, I'm not stupid. Meanwhile. Steve. Steven. Look, according to that last clue, the next one is supposed to be in some place dark that we can reach inside of and rhymes with go. I know something that rhymes with go, Steven. But you do? What is it? How about blow, if you know what I mean? Because I'll blow you a kiss anytime you want, Steven. Oh my god, Regina, stop your breath! Will, will you cut it out and just help me? Whoops. Sorry, Steven. Will you stop calling me that? It's just Steve. It's not short for Steven. There's no end. I know something else that doesn't have an end. I really don't care. Kissing. I'm not even gonna bother. Just, can you look in there? I'll check out here. Let me know if you find anything, okay? Anything for you, Stevers. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, it's all of my favorite things. You find no? No, but I did find a bunch of stuff that I thought I lost a while ago, like my DS and my cacti book. And <laughs> this is from when I got LASIK. Manuel. Hey, Steve. Steven? Stevers? Stevie? Steve? Steven? Stevers? Stevenopolis? What? What do you think our ship name should be? Or what? Our relationship name. Do you like Reeve or do you like Restivna? Or how do you feel about Steve Agina? Steve? Steven! Steve to calls! Oh, I can't find anything out here. Hey, how's it going in there? You find anything? Yeah, I found lots of things. What, really? What'd you find? I found clothes and bags and random board games. No, I mean, did you find the next clue? Yeah, how'd you know? That's one of the board games. <sighs> Yeah, no, I'm not gonna go through with this shtick, okay? I found those too. How do you keep guessing? Are you a psychic? Are you a psy shtick? Am I your side chick? God, you are so... This is... <sighs> we are never gonna find anything. This is hopeless. It does feel hopeless, but I know I found at least one thing. Yeah, okay, what? What did you find now, huh? Love in a hopeless place. What the heck is that? Wait, but how did this stuff get here and why is this light on? <laughs> the killer knew that he was going to be standing there. Oh my god. Is that the next clue? No. This is what Steve was reading when he got shot. Hey, what's it say? It says goodbye, Steven. Which means again, the killer's one step ahead of us. Wait a second. It says goodbye, Steven. Yeah. His name was Steve. There's only one person here that called him Steven. <laughs> what? Regina, you, you didn't. Tim, what? I mean, you're the only one that calls him Steven. And he was the only one in the room with him. What are you guys talking about? What are you trying to say? We're talking about how you shot Steve in the back. What? How could you even say that? I thought you guys were my friends. Look, we are your friends, Regina, but all the facts. I don't care about the facts. Just use email already. What? Just because I was partnered with Steven and I was the only one in the room, and even though I love guns and I accidentally shot two people in the back who both happened to be standing in front of a toilet as well, doesn't mean that I don't want to did it. We were in love. Even though he didn't love me back, we were in love. <laughs> I believe now. I remember the first time we met. It feels like it was just yesterday. You guys just met like a couple hours ago. Love has no time, Ryan. But the way that you guys were attacking me, even though someone I love just got shot, I wouldn't expect any of you to know what love means. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we did point fingers pretty quickly. Yeah, and I suppose that anyone could have mistaken Steve for Steven, so... And I mean, we didn't actually see her do it. No. It really does look like she actually was in love with him. Despite only being a couple of- I'm over it. What? Alright, what are we doing? What? It's just everything you just said. You just seemed so sad. Yeah, and I moved on. That was like one minute ago. I just met him tonight. How long do you expect me to be sad about him? Love is all about time, Ryan. And I didn't even love him that long. <sighs> I mean, okay then. I guess we'll just move on. Okay, what are we doing? <sighs> well, we still haven't found the answer to the other clue, but if it's anything like the other one, it has to be around here somewhere. What was it again? Where darkness hides and the sunshine go. Just reach inside, look in a... In a what? That's what we're trying to figure out. Oh. What about hole? Yeah, that, that could actually work. I, I mean, I suppose it's usually dark inside of holes, right? And you can wreath inside of it. What, you mean like a hole in the ground? How are we supposed to find that on the third floor? I got it. I know where it is. What? Where? It's in Steve's butthole.
I believe. What? Think about it. Where darkness hides and the sun can't go. That's where the sun doesn't shine. That's a butt. And the next part is just reach inside, look in a hole. A hole. Asshole. It's an asshole. Well, I ain't doing it. Don't look at me. No, no, not me. I mean, Regina, it was your idea and... I mean, you were the closest to him, so... Yeah, oh no, I don't care how much I loved him, I ain't reaching into the booty like groceries. That's gross, Therese. Oh, that's why they say that. <sighs> Alright, this does not leave the bathroom. Ever. <gasps> no way. No, of course not. None of us are gonna say anything. <laughs> oh my god, you're actually gonna do it? Well, what other choice do we have? I was just gonna recommend my other idea, but this is funnier. What other idea? I was gonna say we should just check the other hole first. Wait, what do you mean another hole? What, what hole? The random hole behind you. It's warm. How long ago did you see this? A while ago, before you guys even got here. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I don't know, I just didn't think it was important. It was just a random hole with smoke coming out of it. And you thought that a random hole in the wall with smoke coming out of it right after someone got shot wasn't worth mentioning? You know what? I don't need to take this from you. You're about to dig someone's butthole, you weirdo. Wait, there's something in here. <sighs> it's the next clue. <sighs> don't stand in shock from surprise. Pour the blank, and it will blank. Damn, we gotta figure out two now? There's no way we're gonna figure this out. We couldn't even figure out one. I agree. I mean, I, I, I say we all stick together and make sure that we all know where everyone is. If someone goes missing, we'll assume that they're the killer. We just all have to stay together as a whole. Make sense? Wait a second. Say that again, Ryan. Really? Like, the whole thing? Because that was, like, a lot of words. You said stick together as a whole. Yeah? That's it. Whole. Where darkness hides and the sun shan't go. Just reach inside, look in a... Eh? Hey, where are you guys going? I have to answer. We already do that one. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, like I said upstairs, nobody leaves this room. But what if we get hungers? Just eat the candy that Hanate brought for the kids. But these are just crackers. Cracker? Really? What? It go good with Coke. No, it doesn't. Yes, that's what they are for. It says soda cracker on the box so you dip inside of the Coke. Just like how you would dip Oreo inside of lemonade. That is disgusting. You just have to try. Ew, no. I'll try. Why not? Hi. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. Get the Coke. We just talked about this. Nobody leaves, remember? But it's right there. I mean, we'll still be able to see him. Fine, just be quick because we're really getting off topic. Hi. All right, so how are we gonna figure this out? Well, the clue did say something about being in thought from surprise. I mean, they've all been surprises so far. True that. But you know what? The ending is actually pretty interesting. If you pour something, it will something. It's like water. You can pour water. Yeah, I mean, like any liquid, really. Anything that you can pour, I guess. Huh. I almost forget about that. How the hell does pouring something even kill someone? Well, you could pour lava on someone. Yes, you could. That is one option to keep in mind, I guess. But how would that even relate to being shocked from a surprise? I mean, I'd be pretty shocked if you poured lava on me. No, you wouldn't. You'd be burnt. Still good. Wait, don't stand in shock. Liquids. What? Liquids are conductive. Conductive? You would literally be shocked if you poured it on the wrong thing. Well, that's a stupid one. Then all we have to do is not pour something and we live, right? Yeah, why would we even pour anything? Hanate. Hanate, no! Oh. What? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Um, no, I mean, we... We thought you were gonna die. No, I just poured the coke and it rise too fast and spill all over the wire. Good thing I not stand in puddle. Coke and rise. <laughs> That's it. Pour the coke and it will rise. Well, at least we figured it out before Hanate got thocked. Damn, that's a messed up computer charger, man. You gotta get a new one. Yeah, and wait, how are those even sparking if the lights are out? <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. It's back. I'm sick of I mean, this. Hey, what's that? There's candy in here. <gasps> really? Hey, no. Wait, don't Regina, you don't. These are Mentos. Diet Coke and Mentos. That's why the Coke grows so fast. Well, at least we figure out one oh, of the- Oh, hey, look. There's the next clue in the electrocuted puddle. I'll get it. Do you know? Ah! How did they get the wire? <laughs> this is an unlucky room. It's 
It's the final clue. Time has come for you to be Hey, can we do this in another room? Because Sam's body's all burnt and it smells. <sighs> all right, here we go. The time has come. I still smell it. Okay, are we good now? We're literally a floor apart. It smells like trash in here. Too bad. Ready? The time has come for you to be wise. Make a choice if you wish to survive. You have all the information you need. I've told no lies. For every Halloween, you gotta be kidding me. What? There's five blanks. Wait, so this is it? It has to be one of us? <sighs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. And according to this, we're supposed to have all the information we need to figure out who it is. We don't have any information other than the fact that we know it's not me. What? We don't know that. And now that you said that, I'm kind of leaning towards you. Don't lean on me. I'm not Major Lazar. What? Guys, we can point fingers all we want, but the only way we're going to prove it is by solving this. But that's impossible. Or I have idea that works 100%. Okay, how? All we have to do is wait until the kidder kill everybody. Then we know the last guy standing is Kira. That's brilliant. Yeah, that does work. That defeats the whole purpose. Why would we care who the killer is if we're all dead? I don't know. This is exactly why a part of me thinks that we should- Wait a second. What if it isn't one of us? What are you talking about? We're the only ones left. No, we're not. Has anyone seen Rocky lately? Wait, the last time I had a Rocky was upstairs. Where upstairs? By the coke. I put him down to make the coke, but Rocky would never do such thing. Are you sure about that? Because I knew something was up the moment I met him. Yeah, and Ryan did say if you leave the group, we assume you're the killer. So why didn't he follow us down here? All right, that's true. Yeah. Because he's a freaking rock, okay? Are you guys kidding me? I'm almost at the point where I'd rather be killed by one of you than to listen to your stupid, idiotic, useless ideas. That sounds like something a killer would say. Yeah. Hi. Oh my god. Where were you during the blackout when Ray got stabbed by the ice tray? The exact same place as you. How would you know where I was if there was a blackout? Sounds suspicious to me. Wait, what? And what about when Steve got shot in the same room as me? Where were you then? Not in that room. So first you were saying you were in the same room as me when Ray died. Now all of a sudden you're in a different room when Steve died? Sounds like something's not adding up. Oh, it's all coming together now. That makes no sense. And last but not least, when Hanati was pouring the coke and it was rising to spill on the ground and form a deadly puddle that I was gonna put my hand in but Sam jumped inside of the way for me instead and died instead. Where were you then? Out of all of you, probably the furthest away from her. In fact, I don't even think that death needed to happen. She only died trying to save you. That may be so, but you didn't die trying to save Sam, trying to save me. Now did you? Check me. Or is it just check? Check. All the clues finally make sense. The ice tray, the hole, the coke rise. What do they all have in common? You put ice inside of the coke. You put coke inside of the hole. And the hole will rise to the... It'll... The hole... It will rise... Okay, no, you're innocent because mouths don't rise. Wait a second. That's it. What? Ice tray, hole, coke, and rise. That's that's five words. That's what that's what the clue meant. What are you talking about? It says we have all the information we need. Now we just have to fill in the blanks. The time has come for you to be wise. Make a choice if you wish to survive. You have all the information you need. I've told no lies. For every Halloween, ice tray, hole, coke, rise. Now we just have to figure out what that means. Oh my gosh, I get it. Really? Oh no, because mouths don't rise. Mm, they don't. For every Halloween, ice tray, Whole coke rise. I stray nice day. Or do mouths rise? Dies, flies. I've told no lies for every Halloween. What do we do every Halloween? So how was all of your Halloween? No dog, it was tight. I scored so much candy. So Regina, how was your Halloween? I had the worst time ever. Not one kid came to my door. Wait, that's not fair. I never get to tell my Halloween story. I'm sorry, Hunter. How was your Halloween? How was your Halloween? For every Halloween. I stay home, cook rice. Hanate, it can't be. Oh, can't it, Ryan? <gasps> your accent, it's gone. And your face, it's less handsome. <laughs> Wait, Hanate? Yes, Regina? You had a gun this whole time? Indeed I did. Well, that's perfect. Now if the killer comes, you can shoot him. Regina, he is the killer. <gasps> oh my god, Hanate, hurry, shoot him! <sighs> uh, feels so good not to have to make that face anymore. But Hanate, why? You tried making your mouth like a puckered butthole all day, it hurts. No, I mean, why are you doing this? <laughs> I think you know exactly why I'm doing this. Why don't you finish that flashback you were having earlier? Wait, how'd you know I had a flashback? Finish it! Okay, yeah, oh, uh... Wait, that's not fair, I never get to tell my Halloween story. I'm sorry, Hunter. how was your Halloween? I stay home, cook rice. Stay home, cook rice. Now do you see? I mean, not really. I still let you tell your story. You let Regina and Ardizzo have the entire video to tell their story. You only gave me five seconds. And it was after the tea. So you're doing all of this because of one video? Oh no, not just one video. 
You have no idea, do you? We're not starting with you, Hanate. I don't even know if we're gonna even do yours this time. What? Why not? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. But wait, I never get to show mine. Tell us! Now what? Your morning routine! What do you do in the morning? Oh, I wake up! Who could I? Okay, look, okay, honestly, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, like, I can give you better parts. You can be the star of the entire show. You see, I thought about that, but why would I want to be a part of Schizo when it's a dying show? I'll just start my own show. I mean, I already pretty much wrote this entire episode. What do you mean? Everything that happened tonight played out exactly as I planned. One might even question the script because of how perfect it all played out. I mean, it might have worked out for you, but there's no way you could have planned everything. Like, what about when Ray died? You couldn't have planned to have a blackout. <laughs> there wasn't any blackout, was there? Why do you think I stood where I did when I entered the room? stood right by the light switch. And in the same path that Ray had to walk through in order to bring the ice trays, which I had already attached the note to. It's funny, I gave you all every single chance to guess that it was me all along. What do you mean? I was the one who brought the coke that had the very first clue, remember? I was the one that was closest to Ray when we found him dead. I was even the last one to mysteriously show up from behind the counter, yet none of you suspected poor, harmless Hanate because I'm nothing more than a punchline to all of you. Okay, what about when Steve got shot? Even if it did come from the hole in the wall, we were on the complete other side of the house. You were with me. But was I? Yes, you were right... When I went to the closet, you you were by... Um... You see, over the years, I've been collecting some of your favorite possessions. Remember all those things that went missing in that one episode we did called Schizo the Missing Things? Wait, no, we've never uploaded an episode like that. Exactly. Because just like everything else that you were distracted by in that closet, it went... Missing. Wait, that still makes no sense. This whole explanation makes no sense. You know what else doesn't make sense? I already cocked this gun once to shut you up, but I'll do it again if I have to. Okay, okay, just go ahead. As I was saying, while you were distracted by some of your favorite possessions, I waited for Steve to get into position where I had already made a hole pointing exactly where he would be standing. Okay, I, I mean, I don't mean to offend, but how did you know that Steve was going to read the note? I mean, what if Regina read the note? Because I wrote the word read on that note, remember? Oh, read. That's what that said. What? I saw that note way before Steve did, but I thought it said read as in it was already read. So why would I read it again? You're an evil genius. I know. All right, fine. What about the coke and mentos thing? Hmm? Yeah, you could have easily killed yourself. Oh, see, he planned that too. Let me guess. You froze the mentos in the ice tray, knowing that by the time we got back from all the other events, it'd be melted so that by the time you poured the coke, it instantly spilled everywhere next to the wires that you previously cut. But no, you didn't spill the coke on yourself. You spilled it exactly next to you so that a puddle would form and it would look as if someone else tried to kill you so that you'd be the last person we'd suspect to leave the next clue in the electric puddle knowing that only Regina would be dumb enough to reach into that puddle, causing Tham to jump out and save Regina, taking her life in the process. Actually, that's the one thing I got lucky on. What do you mean? I kind of forgot that I set that trap up. Good thing I wasn't standing in that puddle, right? But what if none of us wanted coke because it was diet? Well, you had to drink something, right? Why else would I bring soda crackers? That is true. All right, that's enough of this explanation. Long story short, I set everything up and now you're all here ready to die. But why are you doing this, Hanate? <sighs> are you serious? I just answered that in the beginning. Oh, well then at least tell us how you did it. I'm gonna enjoy killing you the most, I think. See, I knew he liked me the most. But now that I've unnecessarily explained my entire plan, it's time to put this to an end. Please, Hanate, you already made your point. You don't have to do this. Yeah, plus, we're the main cast. The other guys can die, but if we die, there's gonna be no more Schizo. Perhaps that's exactly what I wanted. Say goodbye to Schizos forever, and say hello to the one and only Hanate Show. Ah! What the? Better rock next time, buddy. Rocky! <laughs> and so, after years of inconsistently uploaded episodes, Schizo has finally come to an end. No more our Dizzle and his uncontrollable temper. No, no more Regina and her complete non-existent intelligence. No more Ryan and his, well, his boring, realistic joke setups and storytelling. And of course, no more Hanate, quite possibly the most random and beloved character of all. May he finally enjoy the R.I.P. No, no, I mean, may he finally have the R.I.P. Wait. May he finally ri- May-
So he finally R.I.P. Just R. say R.I.P. May he finally R.I.P. That's all you had to say. But that make no sense. May he finally rice and pot? Seriously? We're ending this whole entire thing and we cut away just for that joke? No, we also cut away to show people that I still arrive. <laughs> Wait, so Thelma's a girl? <laughs>